Thank you. Yes, um, before this kicks in, yes, my postgraduate students and I have been working on how plant diversity in pastures affects pasture production, weed suppression, and pasture quality. Uh, we've got Thinza from Myanmar, Aral from Sri Lanka, and Shuo from China. So they're all collectively bringing um, a really good data set to help inform us as, as designers of seed mixtures um, to understand what is the best seed blend. So that's the main question. You know, what's the best brew that we should be sowing? Um, and in this experiment, we also asked, well, what's the best way sh we should drill it? We, we just bought a fancy plot drill that can do some alternate row drill stuff. So is there a benefit from actually physically separating the species into their own separate rows? And will that improve pasture production and quality as well? Uh, so what we basically do is uh, select the species, select the ingredients that we want for our pasture. Okay, so the species that are suited to the local environment, to, uh, that are suited to the feed requirements of the livestock. So we want to produce a permanent pasture for irrigation. So we pick perennial ryegrass, a, a tetraploid, so plantain, white clover, and red clover. So the four key players there. But we put them in all various possible permutations, two species blends, three, four species blends that are even, but also dominated by one of, of each of the four species. Okay, so I'm not putting my own best bets. I'm keeping it open to tell what the pastures are gonna do. Uh, and then we measure them. So in this case, over four years, and these are the average annual yields over the four years. So as you move from one to two to three to four species, yield tends to increase, but also within the number of species in your blend, you've got variation and you've got some standouts. So a couple of plots there with three species are yielding about 17 tons. Others, most of them, provided they've got a legume and a non-legume, are doing around that 15 to 16 tons, and so not too bad. You've got to get a legume with your non-legume, your plantain and the ryegrass. If you do that, you're sweet, you've got heaps of options. Okay, we measure yield, we measure weed suppression quality as well. In this experiment, we looked at also the method of, of, of drilling, so spatial separation of species. Uh, and basically, they're all very similar, except that three species separated one, you were getting a yield reduction year uh, there. But surprisingly, the quality and the botanical composition is almost exactly the same if I drilled them, if I kept my blends in, in the seed mix, or I separated the species and changed my hoses to alternate cultures and all that sort of thing. You don't need to do that for these four species. Uh, and then we'd use some fancy stats to try to predict what the yield response is for any given proportion of, of the, those four, four ingredients. So in this example, if you move from the left to the right of the axis, we're actually increasing the proportion of ryegrass in the seed blend and keeping the ratio of the other three species the same. So total yield, weed suppression, the EME and crew protein, we're looking for that, that peak of the hill and the gap between that solid line and the dashed line is that what we call the diversity effect, or non-linear blending, a statistician might call it. For you and me, it's free money, it's free dry matter for doing not much more, okay? It's the aggregate effect of all of those complex species interactions. So our, our best blend, our best mix, is the one that maximizes yield. And once we've found that best blend, in this case it was a four species mix, uh, then we can predict its seasonal pattern of production. So total yield, weed suppression, and I've done that here comparing the best blend to the monocultures. And you can see the weed yields increasing in the fourth year for all of our monocultures, except ryegrass, but the blend is, best blend is keeping that down. No change in ME. Uh, the crude proteins, the average, you've got your legumes and your non-legumes separating there, okay? Um, so what we're trying to do here is to get the scientific basis of seed mixture formulation. You just need a legume, non-legume combination, and their response is weighted by the species proportions. That's key. Uh, we want to capture those so-called diversity effects, choosing the species suited to your local environment, and you don't need to separate those species out. Thank you.